Hello, I'm Tim Nichols, and I'm here to bring you your Nichols worth. My goodness. Look at this thing. This Bible is like 135 years old. It's a post-Civil War era Bible. Check out the little locking mechanism it's got on it. Uh, really interesting. You just kind of give it a little push, and you flip that down and open it. Now, I haven't messed with this a lot because I'm kind of afraid. So I'm just going to kind of thumb through this for a review. We'll get five minutes of uh, whatever it is, and then we'll experience this together. But first of all, check out this cover. It looks to be some sort of synthetic leather-like over a really thick. Look at that. And then check out the liner. It's like some sort of cloth. And... I don't know if it's been reinforced here. Maybe it has. Let's check the back and see if the back has the same issue. Um, no, so this is part of the structure of the book, apparently. Either that or someone did a really nice job of, of, of making it look matched. But the back, again, has this like embossed. Look at the spine. Oh my gosh, this thing's heavy. <laughs> it's illustrated. One, two, three, four, five raised hubs. Uh, a gold stamped. Number 22, have no idea what that means. It is an illustrated edition. And it actually has some color in it. It's pretty wild for something that's over 100 years old. Now, you can see this thing is very fragile, so we're going to be careful. One thing about old artwork is it's actually stamped on. So what they'll do is they will put this page in between it because you can see how it bleeds over. That way it won't bleed on over to the other page. And then check this out. It says, Thou art my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation, Isaiah 89, 26. That is beautiful, full color, just amazing. Hard to believe the craftsmanship of something that is so long ago. It can be so well done. Now, okay, so this is the authorized edition, the 1611, but it also has the parallel of the 1881. So I don't know exactly how that works, but man, I'll tell you what, I'm just being really easy with this thing. Um, it has your history of, this, of the mentions in Scripture. Oh, check that out. Wow. Look at the ceiling. So the temple, ministering in the temple, full color. Just, man. That is just, wow. Oh, look here. Got the articles in the temple. Uh Let's see, chronological and miscellaneous tables. So this thing is, wow, man, look at that. Who would have thought? Comprehensive dictionary. Are you kidding me? Go ahead, folks, from 135 years ago. And look at that. Images all throughout the dictionary. This is like a study Bible. Oh, okay, come on. We got to get to, man. All right, so here we are in Genesis. Oh, Jesus. There we go. All right. So you can see this is really discolored and really aged. And check out the paper. It's really thick. It's, it's, it's almost like a newspaper-y kind of feel. Um, it has a brittle feel to it. But um, it seems that the Old Testament is not paralleled. So this may be the 1611. I haven't had time to look at it. If I discover what it is, I'll let you know. But uh, center column references, uh, looks to be about a 9-10 point font, uh, uses the Roman numerals. And you can see, see look at the, the, the discoloration there, just the age, all this stuff. Just, man, there, there's a story in here. Somebody lived some life with this thing. Oh, 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 let's see what this is. I'm just curious. Ah. All right. So, anyhow, you get to the middle and check it out. Oh, it's got the Apocrypha with it. That's pretty cool. Merit certificates, uh, William Culp and Sadie Mickley. This wedding happened in 1885. It's got, oh, look here, certificate of marriage. Uh, another Culp, uh, 26th of August, it's almost my birthday, 1925. That's nowhere near my birthday. They didn't fill out this one, so that's interesting. But there is some births. There's some marriages. Man, this is, this is killer. All right, let's, let's take a quick look and see what the New Testament looks like. Oh, and look, 1611 on one side, 1881 on the other. So really slick. The gilding, look, the gilding's still intact. That's, that's not bad at all. 
So anyhow, oh my goodness, and it's got a concordance in the back. One, two, three, four, five column, tiny little font. Wow. What do you think? It's pretty amazing. So anyhow, there you have it. Keep calm, Jesus, and this is your Nichols Worth.